I've been trying to come up with an electric substitute for the O20 size Cox engine powered planes and uh, early O49 size planes that uh, were about a 30 inch wingspan. This is a sniffer that I've converted to electric and I had uh, some success but I wanted a more powerful motor although it might be the battery that's been the issue. I started out I used a brushless motor that was in a park flyer and I also used the radio. The receiver was lightweight and, and it included the ESC part of it. I used a 150 milliamp 2S battery. This pulled the plane up fairly well but I wanted a uh, little more power yet. I don't think it's the equivalent of a PWO 20. The other issue was uh, you couldn't set the brake and the uh, propeller would freewheel and it seemed like it really ruined the glide. This is the motor I was using and I had to add a bunch of lead and clay to the nose to get it to balance. And that's been a real issue because the motor is so light it's about half the weight of a PWO 20 but if you add the battery in, if you could get the battery way up front it would be almost the weight of the PWO 20. So I got this uh, E-Flight 180 motor which looks like it's the same motor that I had except worse because the shaft is just really small and it bends easily. So I got a 10 amp ESC which is really larger than I need. 6 amp would be fine. I could do braking with this uh, ESC but you have to program it with a radio control transmitter. Here you see the 180 motor with the uh, prop adapter off. So I got a couple new batteries. One's a 250 and the other's a 300. They're, you know, heavier than what I have, but they seem to power the plane better than what I had, although what I had was probably getting old. The real problem is, is to get the plane to balance. So I built this cheek cowl to get the battery further ahead just as a temporary thing. I think I'm going to have to get the motor out farther ahead and have the battery underneath it. So here's the first flight of the new setup and it seemed to climb pretty fast but when I cut the power it went into a left spiral. I uh, figured out that the wing was warped and uh, after this session I straightened that out. So then I tried to fly it to the right and I had too much right. Until I get that uh, wing straightened out I don't think I'm going to get a good combination of uh, climb and glide. So this flight didn't look just too bad but it was stalling bad in the glide and it landed in this sandy area and I must have got some of it my motor and now my motor doesn't hardly run. So then I put the other motor back in and used the same mount which ended up being a problem. So I tried flying another place. I didn't think it'd be as sandy and the first flight didn't look just too bad but this was reduced power. I gave it more power this time and even seemed to be going to the right. And I cut the power because I was in such a small field and now it was stalling like crazy. So I adjusted that a little bit and made another less than full throttle flight. Didn't look just too bad. Still think I need a little bit of weight in the nose even with that uh, battery up in the cheek cowl. So I try another flight and the motor came loose. I couldn't get the set screw and that mount tightened up real good I guess. And uh, the wire broke in the motor so this motor is ruined now too. So I'm going to look for a whole new setup. So while I was pondering my problem I noticed I had an 049 to Outrunner adapter mount from Retro RC. And I looked on their website and I see they have one for 020. So that's what I'm going to try next.